everyone, Neon Jigglypuff here, and welcome back to another episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Yes, another episode because we've done this before. We did this one when the game first came out last summer, being August, and now, almost a year later. Thanks, Rabbit. Almost a year later, we're back. We're playing Mario Plus Rabbids again. Only this time, we're not playing Mario Story. We're playing Donkey Kong Story. Yes, this is a Donkey Kong DLC, which I just purchased. And I have been waiting this whole time to play it. Now I'm finally going to play it. I'm really excited. I'm so happy. I absolutely loved the main story mode. But now we get to play a second story, which is kind of like a sequel in a way. So this is actually really, really exciting. I don't believe, like, like, um... Mario and Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit, like, uh, Yoshi and stuff like that are in this. I believe it's only just three characters. But, um, hey, that's fine with me. I don't know anything about this. It's my first time, as you can see, empty files. I did not do a practice run. I'm going this completely blind. And I believe there's going to be a cutscene. I believe, blah, so be quiet. the washing machine where are we marooned on a tropical island with no means of warping back so we have to reassemble and fix the washing machine by finding its missing parts it's our only hope to get back to the mushroom kingdom wait so donkey kong lives in a different dimension i thought he lived in the mushroom kingdom with mario but well, then then again the this game isn't a canon to the Mario timeline, so I guess in this Mario timeline, it's just kind of messed up. I don't know, but I thought the rabbits had to go back to their own universe. I guess they're living in the Mushroom Kingdom from now on then. Or these guys, at least. Look! I see some locals who I'm sure are willing to help. I'll just need to sweet-talk them. Ahem! <clears throat> we are in need of your client assistance. Oh. Go. And they're probably... Oh, they're, they're nuts. Uh, she doesn't have her blaster with her. Uh... They used it to cook mushrooms? And they're defenseless. Beepo and Rabbit Peach are completely defenseless. Oh god. Donkey Kong! Oh my god, this music's awesome. Okay, I want to, I want them to explain this. 
Where the heck did this guy come from? And he's old and frail and can't walk that well. What? Rabid Cranky. Even grow Ever Grumpy Rabbit, I mean. Rabid Cranky. Okay, I want some backstory. Where did Rabid Cranky come from and where's the real Cranky? And why are they in a different dimension and not in much? What is dentures? What the? Oh, he has a new blaster for Rabid Peach. And she doesn't like it. Defeat. Oh, we're, oh, wow, we're already in this. We're already in a battle. Okay, I like this. So Donkey Kong, he doesn't fight with a blaster or a gun. He just uses, he just punches them. I, I guess it's fitting for his character. This is really, really cool, though. Ah, the, uh, the almighty Donkey Kong. Let's put those bulging biceps. Bulging biceps. What an interesting word choice. Have yours to work against these tropical ziggies. Wait, they're called tropical ziggies? Like David Bowie? God, God rest his soul, rest in peace, pay respects. But anyway, did you know you're so strong to pick up the- You can pick up the cover box? Or most of them? And you throw them too? Extra health. Oh, it's easy mode. And you, can, and you can grab allies and toss them anywhere in the battlefield. Okay, so it's kind of like the team jumping. Team jumping. And Rabbit Cranky has his own crossbow, so he's kind of ranged too. So, the, so they're mixing it up, so... Rabid Cranky and Rabid Peach have range as where Donkey Kong is up close and personal. Okay, I like this. I wonder, are there going to be any new characters joining us, or is it only going to be these three? Because from what I've seen so far, it's only these three. Anyway, I am so excited to finally get into playing this. Okay, so let's see what, di what our DK's moves are. Harry Eye, I believe that's uh, Counter. And then Magnet... Oh, it's like what... um. Rabid Mario has we can actually lure in enemies and then use a hammer. Now Donkey Kong wait, does he have he does have range. Okay, so it's the banana boomerang. And it's a multi-hitter. And then there's Banana Slam the classic, I guess. That's like um uh the hammer uh, Mario and a uh, Rabid Mario wheels. That's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm gonna get Rabid Peach to you know what? Yeah, Century. She's oh, she's uh, back to the basics because you know her guns aren't that good anymore because she lost them all in the Mushroom Kingdom. They were stolen by these guys, so she has her basic guns now, which kind of sucks. But hey, it's not that bad. Anyway, Rabbit Peach can get this guy out, and boom, he's gone. That's just like that. Hey, this is really good. This is so like I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. This is not like some tacked on. A DLC. This is like... He has a... Oh my god! Okay, so this is like a sequel. It, it's more of a sequel than like Tacked On Force DLC. Oh my god, that is amazing. So, the creators claim that this is about 10 hours long and that is really, really impressive for just DLC. This feels like a full-fledged sequel from what I'm seeing. Like there's new cutscenes, there's like... This is just so good. I love. I, I already love it. I'm already like. I'm so happy they did this. All right. Oh wait, what? Huh? Oh, I see what I'm doing here. And I can throw him. Can I throw him on top of it? Yes, I can. Okay. So we grab this guy. We jump on him. Oh, we steal him and then we toss him. Oh, okay, that's cool. And I guess they're both dead or. No, I'm gonna be taking some hits. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. You're gone. The banana boomerang. Oh, wait, no, he just lived. I can counter him, though. Okay, so Dunk Dunk is counter. And Cranky. Look, look, oh, overkill. That is really obnoxious. But, uh, yeah, enemy turn. Okay, so they both have counter, so that means they're gonna die no matter what. Rapid Cranky took some damage, unfortunately. Yeah. I need some backstory. Where did Rabbit Cranky come from? I want to know because he's not native to this island. He can't be. And this is just awesome. I love it. There's so much charm in these games. Like, oh, the victory theme was Donkey Kong Country. Oh my god. Grant Kirkhope, you never fail to impress me. This is amazing. And, they're and our currency is bananas instead of coins. I don't know what I was expecting, but I. this is just so... This is so charming. I love even the loading screen is fun to look at. Say, I remember you two. 
You were in the basement when Swampy... Wait, what? You were in the basement when Swampy uh, put on the... The uh, Super Merge headset. They were in the basement? Did... Wait, she had... Donkey Kong stuff? In her room? The Mega Bug must have brought you here into the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, okay, I get it. It brought them here instead of the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay. And wait, they're completely frozen. They're kind of like Family Guy. Like, you know how in Family Guy, when, when uh, someone's talking, the other person just stands there? They're completely standing still right now. What is this? This looks so weird. Like, everything in the background is moving, except for them. This is like, it's weird. Regardless, we're glad you found us when you did. No problem. Okay, now they're moving. I still want them to explain Rabbit Cranky. Where did he come from? Hold on. I think I can translate. Dang blasted machine fell apart in the dang blasted sky. Dang parts everywhere. Yes, yes, we need to find that washing machine and its scattered parts. Can you draw us a map? Uh... What? Oh, went the wrong way. There! The cat. Okay, so Nox Young and Craig Chong are like. Who is he? I want, I want some backstory. Who is Rabbit Cranky Kong? Like, who, who, where did he come from and why is he friends with DK? Where is DK's real dad or grandpa or whatever the current story is? I don't know, it's confusing. Where the missing pizzas are. I almost said pizza. Pizza. This is so charming to look at him. <sighs> He says he wants to show us something. I'll take care of it. I, I know his voice keeps changing, but... Thank you, but we'll take it from here. I'm sure you have your hands full or waving your king angrily at teenagers. Oh, I don't mean to be rude. You're a great fighter and all, but I suspect you may slow us down a bit. Oh, uh, don't get the... <laughs> Oh, and this is why he uses them as a moped. And now he's a unicycle. Or I'd rather be got you a walking frame or an electric scooter, but if this speeds things along, so be it. So now Rabid Cranky... Okay, so we're controlling Rabid Cranky on Beepo now. So this is actually pretty cool. So we're playing as Rabid Cranky, Rabid Peach, and then Donkey Kong. And he's riding Beepo... Like a moped, I believe? Or a unicycle or wheelchair? Wait a minute, are you collecting jiggies? Wait, our main- wait, hold on. Did you see that? Our main collectible is jiggies from Banjo-Kazooie and... Donkey Kong Country uh, uh, Tropical Freeze? If that's the case, then oh my god, this is amazing. Grant Kirkho- Grant Kirkho, he made the music, oh my god. And we're collecting jiggies in an open world, this is amazing. Modern art. Okay, so th that's our, um... Our, ho our, our hub, I mean. So this is our hub, I guess. Wait. Is there any music playing? I'm, I'm going to turn my TV up a little bit. This, uh, this is quiet music. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but um, it's it, it looks kind of quiet on my end. I'll turn it up a little bit. That should be fine. Okay, this is cool. I like this. This is our... Okay, it's our shop for our... Um, our stuff. Let's go on this little pipe here. Where's this lead us to? Ooh, we got a secret! What's this? They're fast asleep. Well, okay, I guess they're... I, is this post-game stuff? Straight to the, um... The next area. There's so much I want to see, though. Oh my god, this is so... This is so cool. I'm so happy to play this. Like, th this is... This is awesome. I... I'm so glad they kept doing... Like, I, I know, I admit... When they first showed off Mario and Rabbids, I wasn't a fan because I was like, all oh, the Rabbids are, are going to ruin the Mario series. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be dumb, but I was wrong. If you're like, if you're watching this and you're not a Rabbids fan, please do yourself a favor and pick this game up. DLC or not, you will not regret it. The main story is amazing, and from what I'm seeing, this is already a lot of fun. Like, And I've just started, I'm already having fun It's like exploring. The game is amazing. Everything is great. I love this game so much. And it's the same sound effect too. Oh my god. All right. There's something we got to see here. Ooh. Legend has it, the wicked pirate Banana Beard shipwrecked here. They say his ghost make a banana custard 
by the light of the full moon. Hmm, I could go for some the banana custard or pudding or anything. I like bananas a lot. I really love bananas. It's my favorite fruit. Um, there's coconuts here. This is so much fun. Oh, okay, we're at our second battle or mission. There's a piece. I still want them to explain Rabbit Cranky, though. <laughs> <gasps> a washing machine piece. Looks like an important one, too. Quick, let's grab it. You said quick and oh, what the heck is this guy? We have a new enemy. Collector. Makes sense. Alright, so new enemy type. Collector. I wonder what this guy does. You get the washing machine pieces back. Okay, no problem. This is already so much fun. Like, thing is, and if you're not a fan of uh, tactics games or like XCOM, don't worry because, like, Think about it. I'm not a tactics like a fan either. I've only played two tactics games, being being a fire, blah, fire emblem fates, and then this. And I went into this not even being a huge fan of tactics games, but this I love this game. Trust me, this is more than just baby's first XCOM. It gets harder and harder. But, like it's it's very it's, it's very fun. The music. Retrieve all the things. Retrieve all the pieces. I'm sorry, I got really distracted. I, I didn't read any of it because the music, it's the Donkey Kong theme. Oh my god, Grant. Grant Kirkhope, you are amazing. I, oh my god, your music brings back. It, it's so nostalgic because like, I grew up playing Donkey Kong 64, as I said in my LP from like a year ago. Um, it was my first game I ever played in my life, and it's just so, it brings back so many memories. I'm so happy to like, actually have this playing it right now because it's so exciting. Oh my god, I wonder if they're going to be playable in the multiplayer mode, being DK and Cranky, or Rabbit Cranky. I wonder if they're playable in the multiplayer mode. If so, then I might invite Orlando over here to play multiplayer yet again, because that was a lot of fun. Hmm. We need some strategy over here. Let's see what I'm, I'm, I can do now. You know what, I'll just stay right here. I'll stay right here, and I'll have Rabbit Cranky- oh. 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 You know what? Do your thing, Rabbit Cranky. I love his voice. It's so cool. Okay, then you can get out of here. Wait, he has vamp? Oh, that, that didn't do anything. Was, uh, you know what? No problem. Wait, Rabbit Cranky can heal himself, Candy, from, from, from sleeping. It's like rest in Pokemon. <laughs> Awesome, and it has a bounce effect too, and it did crits. That is awesome. Uh, can't do anything about that. Okay, enemy turn, pass it off to them. Collectors. We have to uh, get to them before, um, I guess the battle ends. Timed, I guess, maybe? I think we got counter, there we go, and he's gone. This is so much fun. Okay, so our goal is not to kill them, it's to kill the collectors. Even though it said that, I'm just realizing it now. I know, I'm 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 dumb. But anyway. <gasps> yes, I can. I don't know why I did Peter Griffin voice there. <gasps> Donkey, do your thing. He just he just he just turned into a ball. And now he's honey, he can't move. Those bananas! Unoriginal, if you're watching this, this is for you! Wait, hold on. That's for you. I got the bananas for you. <laughs> Only Mario can do that. No problem. She can just go over there. <gasps> there you go, Rabbit Peach. Go there, and then you can get rid of this collector. And he has a honey effect, so we can't get away. Perfect. Then, Rabbit Cranky, you can team jump. Wait, is he going to hurt Donkey Kong? No, he is not. Go. <laughs> Boom! And he's frozen. To, well, he can't do anything now. He's frozen. And he's. Wait, vamp? Are we get vamp? And we got the vamp effect. And now he heals 33% for damage, I guess. Um. Not gonna work. Nope, not gonna work. Wait, I can do it again? No, never mind. I can't. But. No, I can't do anything. Never mind. Pass it on. 
these guys are gonna get I should have countered. If he gets out in the open and he's in trouble now. But he's a tank, I assume, because he has a lot of HP and he's, you know, he buff. He meat. He buff meat. Don't quote me on good that. Good boy. Be right, good boy. Yeah. All right, Rabbit Peach, do your thing. Just, no! It's okay, she's a healer. It's okay. I kind of hope we get some more characters, though, because, like, you know, while DK is cool and all, I wonder who else could possibly join the team. Like, maybe Rabbit, or, like, the real Cracky Kong, maybe? Funky Kong? Mario could possibly come back? Who knows? Then again, they can't come back because they're in their dimension, so they really can't. Still, maybe we might get some more party, excuse me, party members. But if not, I'm fine with it. This game is already good enough. He's good enough for me, and you're dead. Goodbye. Uh, he's supposed to wait. He can't attack, can he now? Wait, you. Yeah, you can. Okay, he's good. There we go. And I believe that battle's complete. Oh, we still gotta collect it. Okay. I believe I can reach it anyway. No, I can't. But wait, 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 I can... I can throw Cranky at the actual thing and collect it. I, I believe that counts though, because he, he's touching it. So yeah, I think I won this already. <laughs> Yes, it worked! <laughs> there we go, we did it! Aw, oh, the victory theme's so nice, I really like it. Do -do 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 -do. And we got 150 bananas. Na 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 na! Banana na 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 na! Na 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 na! I'm sorry, I really I like that song now, I'm sorry. On original, this is your theme song now. I know it causes you uh, uh, a college trauma, even though over here it's called high school. But still, college trauma for you three. But I, <laughs> Luna, Hedda, I'm sorry, but I, lo I actually like that song. And ooh, no, an octopus it is uh, fetching something for. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I, I thought that said underwear. What? Do you hear the music? I'm actually crying right now. This music is beautiful. It's Donkey Kong 64. It's the it's the hub world for Whoa! Rabbit Peach! But it's the, it's the hub world for Mario 60! I mean for Donkey Kong 64! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm sorry, I have to hold back tears. This is so this song is beautiful! This is literally the song from Donkey Kong 64! Oh my god! I could just sit here and listen to music all day. Oh my god, this is amazing. And wait, cutscene. Okay, she's okay. I thought that she was actually, like, gonna be gone for a little bit. So I guess that explains the story that Rabid Donkey Kong is pissed at, at uh, Rabid Peach because... I don't know, if you've played it, like, like the uh, prequel, I'm gonna call it prequel. The prequel, Rabid Peach knocked uh, Rabid Kong off the tower and, you know, you saw the flashback, you were there, but yeah. That was an actual thing in the prequel, and yeah, I guess 
Okay, so Rabbit Kong is the main villain of this story, I guess, and he wants revenge on Rabbit Peach. But this music is so good. Uh, guys, I'm sorry if, if I'm like, I'm fanboying right now, but I'm a huge DK fan, especially Donkey Kong 64 and its music. That was literally from Donkey Kong 64. It, it, was, it was like an orchestrated remaster edition, and I, it's... <sighs> I love it. I'm, what? She has 40, I guess she did, she did just get punched in the face, so. But no problem, I can heal. Yeah, but she's still pretty sandy. And she can't attack? Or no, she can't. Oh, wait, never mind, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Our goal is to defeat every enemy. I can throw you up there, and then you can handle that guy up there. Wait. Aw, oh, target's out of range. But. You can shoot him right in the face. Boom! Gone. And he can still move. Oh, she can still move. Okay, there we go. Slide here. Jump down there. Go over here. There you go. You're gone. He died. Say your prayers. Gone. Just like that. Oh, this is so much. I I, I keep having like a like spontaneous burst of fanboyism. And... I'm sorry, but this is all this feels I, I can't even talk, it's so good, I can't I just uh, the, Cranky Kong said it better than I ever could. Rabid Cranky, I couldn't get used to saying that. Rabid Cranky. Okay, you can activate your counter or overwatch, I guess, in XCOM terms. Uh Okay, I, I can't do anything, so um enemy turn. Perfect, got a vamp, and we got a counter again. Banana ring. Oh, it did both. Oh, he stole my but he stole my bananas. Did you see that? Oh, he but he just he can nerf our stats as well, just like Rabbit Luigi, because he was a mage. No, Sandy Peach, don't do any. Oh no, this is gonna be difficult than I thought, or more difficult than I thought. Oh God. Wait, I, I, I can fast forward this. I forgot about that. Okay, DK's safe, though. Okay, this is gonna work. Wait, no! No, it, worth it, worth it. You gotta take some battle damage. Break this, throw it at this guy. Vampify him. Lure everyone to me. Wait, get your bongos out. Oh, this is so cute! That was cute. And then we can banana slammer! Boom! Wow! And we can heal off of it. But unfortunately, they're gonna hit us. But then again, they're gonna kill each other. And they vamped off of that anyway. Great. Anyway, let's get these nanas over here. Let's collect these unoreganos. You can shoot them from behind. Pause. Wait a minute. He could, he's he's going to hurt Donkey as well. Worth it. I'm sorry, Donkey Kong. I'm sorry, DK. Well, you hurt the other guy at least. But he's, they're, they're vamping off each other. I just realized they're vamping off each other. Enemies will sleep. Although, I can put them to sleep? I didn't even know I could do that. Anyway go back here, or Rabbit Peach rather can go back here and get this guy out of the way. There you go. Wait, he's not gonna die, is he? No, he's not gonna die. Ooh. I do have my shield, though. I can use that. And then I can put these guys to sleep. And now they're napping, so we're safe. Critical hit. Ooh, it's a good thing I got that shield up. Oh! She's not dead. She, okay, she's not dead. She's good. She can't attack. She's she's good. Um. Uh, my Google Home just activate. Did wh what? Why did my Google Home just activate? She, I I hope she didn't dox me. If so, then uh, if if you heard any silence at all, heard silence. If there was just like silence for a second, then that means Google Home probably doxed me, and I had to mute that. Sorry about that. <laughs> 
she somehow activated. I don't know how, but yeah, it happened. Uh, yeah, anyway. These guys out of the way. Rabid Peach. Ooh, you can't. Wait a minute. Okay, you're good. Just shoot them. Get them out of the way. Goodbye. Okay, you're gone. Get these nanners. On oreganos. And then we can throw him over here. Boom! It damages him. Oh, that, that was not really a smart idea. Um, that was not a smart idea. Oops. Okay. We can fast forward it though. Okay, you know, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. No problem. Get your nanner. And he's gone. Wait. No, not quite. No problem though, because right prank, you can just get him. And there he goes. Just like that, he's gone. Oh, hey, Lily. My cat's here again. Lily, you always show up at videos. Might as well be the new mascot. Neon Lily. I'm, not, I'm never gonna get tired of hearing that jingle. I love it. Man, we got gold rank. Ruins. We got ruins. You know, when you said you wanted to show us something, you could have been a little more specific. Rabbit Kong of all the... <sighs> How did he even get here? And he looks so strong. He must have been working out. And that's why they work for him. Whoa! So the main body of the washing machine is right in the core of, of the hideout of Rabbit Kong? It's behind that. And it's guarded by an army beyond that giant gate that needs two keys to open? Wonderful! Doubtless! They're scattered far and wide, safeguarded by wicked brutes. It's typical. We need to find those keys. Hurry! Yes, we do indeedy. Yes, we indeedy need to find those keys. Uh, wait, there's a nanner right here. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of nanners here. Okay, let's get those nanners. I have 2,000? Wait, how do I go back? I want to go to the shop and buy some new weapons. Can I even do that yet? Or, or no? Anyway, let's explore a little bit here. This has been a, quite a long episode, so you know what? I'm actually going to end it off here. But don't worry, I'm going to do an, another episode. Because the thing is, if I actually really enjoy doing this, I might maybe make this a sub-series. Like a, an extra LP, you, you can say. Like, it'll go alongside uh, Thousand Year Door. 
So I'm gonna end it off here. And thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Thousand oh, of Thousand Year Door of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure DLC. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please not forget to leave a, li leave a like, subscribe, favor, and comment, and tell me, are you planning on buying this? Obviously, I bought this because I'm playing it right now. And uh, yeah, if you guys already uh, did buy this, are you enjoying it? Because I am. I'm really, really enjoying this. Like, I'm enjoying this a lot. So excited to play more, and I can't wait to show more. So with that all said, I hope, I, will, uh, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys, and don't forget to have a great day.